All right, how to transfer files wirelessly from your PC to any Zadu player. All right, very, very easy. All it takes for you, if you pay attention to this, you will get it. All right, using your PC. It's very, very easy. First thing you want to do, again, go to your settings. Go to your settings. All right. You want to go over here to network. Right there at the top. You want to go down. Because you want to go to your Samba server. And you see over here to the right where it says access address. You see, you need to write that number down. Write that number down. Wherever your Zadu is, write your URL down. It says it right on the right hand of Samba server, the blue button, right on the right hand side. It's directly in between network and other. It says access address. All right. You need to write that number down. Very, very important. From there, from there. This is all you have to do. I'm going to go over here. And let me go to my network. So let me do this. Hold up. So let me push this over. Make this larger. All right. Because you want to go to your network on your PC. You want to go to your network. All right. You see, I got a lot of things connected to the network. All right. If you want to go to your network, go up here to the top and put in that URL. Backspace, backspace. Is that 192.168? Is that dot one dot one nine? Put that in. Remember, you got to use the backspace, backspace. And then put the URL in. All right? So basically, I went into network. Let me go back, just in case someone wasn't paying attention. However you get to your network, because everybody's computer is different. But I went over here to the network. All right? And when you're on your network, when you're on your network option, you can go up here where it says network. Again, backspace, backspace. 192.168.1.19. Your URL is going to be different. Once you enter it, that's all you have to do is hit the enter button. Again, the key is backspace, backspace. If you use the four slashes, it's going to be an error. Use the back. The ones that lean to the left. <laughs> the ones that lean to the left, my people. I don't want to be getting no emails. Hey, Dale, I'm putting it in. And, and then when I say send me a copy of how you're sitting it in, you got the four slashes, the ones that lean to the right. No, you want the ones that lean to the left. To the left, to the left, that's the one you want. And then you put in your URL, all right? Remember, your Samba server has to be on and everything, all right? From there, you can just go, because it's going to come up and say share. And look at this. We got three drives. One is, again, one is going to say storage. You got this one. And so, again, I do have my flash drive in here. But if you notice my flash drive is not saying much. It's not saying that Maven's network. If you don't know what it is, even though I know what it is, this one right here, because look, it got 9-4-2023. Because they give you the dates and everything. But I'm looking for the internal drive where I connect all of my media and everything. So I'm going to click on that. And look, it gives me a bunch of folders, all right? 
looks very familiar to some of y'all drives. And again, I'm going to movies. And look at this. I got all of my movies in here. And you notice they're not categorized because the Zadu does an awesome job doing it itself. All right? It does it itself. But now, what do I need? I need that physical media. All right? So, with that being said, where is, where is, I need my download folder. I could probably go up here. So, of course, you may, depending on how you got yours, is up to you. And so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy, I got two boogeymans on here. One from 1980, one from 2023. I'm going to copy those. I'm going to go back to my drive, right? And again, yours may be different. You just want to find your drive, your internal drive, or whatever you drive that you're using for your Zadu. I'm going to the movies. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just copy. I'm going to just paste those two movies on here. One is the Boogeyman from 2023. The other one is Boogeyman from 1980. I'm going to see if Mazadu recognize both of them and place them on two here without any conflict. All right. So I'm gonna get as that's going through. I'm gonna get Mazadu. So let me let me drop this down. Cause we're transferring the movies, so I'm done with this. Cause I'm wire, I'm done wirelessly transfer everything over, so I can remove this. I know it's doing it because you see the little green, and you see, and it's going the little green laser. Everything is going across, so I'm gonna move this, and I'm going back up here to my Zadu. I'm gonna hit the home button, and I'm gonna go over here to my home three. Theater 4.0. And we're going to see, and right there at the top, you see that little spinning posters will be automatically refreshed. There go one boogeyman. I'm going to see if it's going to add the second boogeyman to this device. Let's see. Fingers crossed. Because sometimes... Like all media centers, they get a little bit, you know, when they got the same exact name, they get a little bit twisted. But as you see, it didn't come up, right? But we can, oh, it's scanning again. So it's maybe it's coming through. Maybe I'm being impatient. All right. We got Boogeyman 2023. We're going to see if we get 1980 version. If not, we're going to search for it to see if it comes up. Still nothing. We're going to play the game. And it could, it could be a conflict with both of these movies by them being both called The Boogeyman. It could be a conflict. And we can always go into the unmatch and fix that. You see, we'll give it another 30 seconds. But again, this is how you wirelessly transfer everything. So it looked like we got a little conflict because both of them, right? So if I click into the, the boogeyman, all right, it gives me that one. But where is boogeyman in, from 1980? I'm going to my unwatch. Got a lot of things. Let's see. Let's see. I don't see it up in here. Let 
Just trying to make sure I don't see it. And it could be somewhere, probably got misnamed or something like that. And sometimes that happened. I kind of figured that would happen because they were both. Uh, and let me see. Boogeyman 1980 and 2023. Let me do this right quick. Movies. I think they both called the Boogeyman. So let me just go down to the T's, I guess. So let me click up in here. So it definitely looked like there is a conflict with both of those sources right there. All right. So I will have to do my investigation, which I knew all of them do it from Cody to Plex to the Zadu. All of them do it. But I did add both of them to it. I just have to figure out what is the issue, why both um, films didn't come up. But other than that, the whole concept was to show you how to wirelessly transfer everything on over to your Zadu. And it's very, very easy, very super easy once you get it. Yep. It is crazy. But again, like I said, that's kind of, I don't know why. Let me see. It should have been here. Hold up. Hold up. The boogie. Uh, the boogie, man. Oh, you know what? I think I see. Here it is right here from 1980. Right here. So what I'm going to do. Click and hold this. Let me rematch. Boogeyman. And it should have the lady hanging out the window. Got a lot of boogeyman. Oh, here you go, right here. 1980. So that's all I got to do. Yeah, man, I be needing my glasses on. I be thinking I be seeing it. So now when I go back out, let's go back out right now. There it is right there. All right. So again, if your movie doesn't come up, make sure you put on your glasses and, <laughs> and go up in this bad boy. You see, I only got a few of them I have to fix. Like some of the Mission Impossibles and stuff like that. But other than that, there it is. Right there. There it is. You can go ahead and do it that way. But as far as that, guys, those are the way that you transfer. And look, I got my glasses right here in front of me. So, but those are the way you actually, you, you wirelessly transfer everything. 